Okay, Skyrim Remastered, Khajiit Assassin build. Uh, this is episode 25. We set the legendary difficulty and we're picking up exactly where we left off at the end of the last episode. We just got the Galder Black Bow, this quest, Forbidden Legend. We were going to head off to Riften, not Riften, to uh, uh, Iverstead, which is just here in the background behind me, and do that killing for the or the contract for the dark brotherhood and go and see faster to start off the book of love or continue the book of love but i'm sort of bored i want to go and try out my new bow so i haven't got many quests started on this character so let's just do this forbidden legend let's do the next part of that i know it takes me to somewhere that i've already discovered uh, earlier on in the character when we were up near the abandoned shack joining the Dark Brotherhood but before they can use that bow I need to go and smith it so we're heading off to Riften to smith this bow maybe sell a few things off drop a bit of weight here have a look what the vendors have got in the way of uh, enchanted jewelry and hopefully be able to buy a steel ingot to improve this um, Galder black bow Riften, what time is it? Afternoon, late afternoon. Alright, let's go straight over and find our blacksmith and see if we can buy a steel ingot. What brings you to Balaman today? Actually, Repair? before we even look, let's put on that and that. And let's, Just actually, Curiosity's got the better of like me. The smell of a white what do you got for sale? Finest weapons and armor. Please have steel ingots. You do. Beautiful. All right, if you need any more smith, we're right next to the the guy. Let's give him a a coin. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. Take the extra ten speech points, speechcraft points. Oh, it's you. Come to explain. All right, the only thing we can improve at this point in time will be blades, helmets, pretty much anything um, that your needs. We'll buy those dwarven ingots while we're here. We'll buy the iron ore as well. And we will buy a steel ingot and silver ore. Selling what we've got in the way of weapons to drop some weight. A couple of longbows. Uh, gauntlets. What did I just sell? Yeah, dwarven gauntlets. It's alright. I thought I just sold one of my enchanted pieces of all right, done there. If you need any more smithing, let's quickly go and actually before we do that, let's make a couple of rings and make some money while we're here. Jewelry. We can make that ring. Make that. Perfect. Greetings. Everything I've got on display, really. Um. I want to sell you some jewelry that I'm carrying. That, 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 and that. Let me send you broke. Let's see what Grok has got. You gonna buy something? See for yourself. No, I'm just sneaking up behind you and being really friendly. Um, apparel. Have you got anything good? She never has anything good. All right, let's just sell her some potions and get out of here. That can go, that can go, that can go. One of them. And that. Beautiful. Alright, while Come we're here, might as well go and see Bellathor. See if he's got anything good. And then get out of here. Oh, after we smith our weapon, of course. Welcome to the Pond Frog. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome what do you got for sale? Alright, we want something alchemy, smithing, archery. And absolutely nothing we want. So let's just sell him some potions and stuff and get out of here. You can just have two of them bonus for you, mate. All right, done. I'm in a hurry. No time for jiggling. No time for jiggling the inventory. Hmm. 
Every time I come out of Bellathorns, I always turn the wrong way, right? So, apparel, uh, necklace of eminent smithing, braces of eminent smithing, guzzle down a smithing potion that we made in the last episode, and improve this bow. Alright, so when we got our full gear on, it should be somewhere 20 to 25 points stronger than our Zephyr bow. So let's get changed. Actually, let's favourite that first. Let's get changed into our Necklace of Major Wielding, Ring of Piss Poor Minor Archery, which I can't believe I haven't found anything to replace that with yet. Our braces and our cowl, and let's have a look at these weapons. So 133 and Zephyr is 124, so it's 19 different at this stage. Alright, ready to go and party, Feindel? Well, you're not coming to the party, you're going to wait outside when we get there. And we need to go up here near the abandoned shack to here. I always run from the abandoned shack over to here when I join the Dark Brotherhood and get abduct abducted because a lot of times it's if it's night time or I make it night time I chase um, lunar moths early on in my character to make invisibility potions. That's why this is usually discovered. But I'm pretty excited about this. This is a quest I haven't done for probably four or five years. So I'm not remembering much of what's going to go on in here. I know it's full of Draga. And that's about it. So let's read our journal. It just furthers the quest. Let's take it. And we can't walk past that stuff. There is actually a canister route out of the front of this place that I know I didn't pick up on the last time I was up this way. Right there. Can't walk past Death Bell. Soul Gem. And a potion. Alright, Mr. Feindal, where are you? Here. You can I'm right behind you. wait here, please. As I'll be back sh shortly. And in we go. So let's just play with the bow in here. I'll uh, leave the dagger away unless we really need to use it. Bone chimes. Alright, we need to re. Oh, we need to favourite our bow. And we're ready to go. Nord bow, might as well use Nord arrows. And should be able to pick up some gemstones off these guys and maybe a few ingots and jewellery as we go. I don't know if you come out the same door as you went in on this quest, I can't remember. Activate the keyhole. Why don't I just pick up rubbish alto wine? I don't know. Oh, there's a secret door that you need to find the key to. A garnet, that's what we want. These guys to have a few gems laying on them. Draga. Uh, let's just test him out and see how strong he is. He's going to be a two shot. Well, two sneak attacks anyway. If your stealth gets blown, you're in the shit. If it takes two sneak attacks, it's going to take a lot of arrows to kill them. Actually, I just remembered this. I remember dying in here a couple of times 
on an archer character till I worked out. And the thing that I just remembered is that lots of Draga come out, but you can open the door and escape. Alright, let's do this thing. There's a Draga right down the back. There's two to my left, but the one down the back I want to hit. And hopefully get a kill. We get a kill. If we get a kill on him, those two Draga there, I was expecting to go to where the arrow killed him. But they didn't. So we just let them do their thing. They are not even on the HUD because they have either calmed down or not even alerted to that shot. Alright, there's another one down there. Let's put a shot on this guy. And if you get the kill, they should go... No. See, if I get the kill, I'm expecting them to go to where the arrow hit and killed the their friend, so to speak. But that guy didn't. Which is alright. We can work around that. Alright, let's hit the one furthest away. Right there. He's put his sword away. He's going to be a two shot. No, he's a one shot. So see how that guy looks to the where the arrow hit that guy and killed him? I was expecting the Draga to go down the back. When I killed the guy down the back, there's another one down there, there's an archer. And missed him, so we'll put an arrow over there and lead him into our line of sight. There he goes, straight to the arrow, just stops short, but we'll shoot him. What a pointless kill animation, is that us done? Our quest marker's up the top there. Alright, let's just have a quick search around here. I'm not 100% sure if you come out the same way here or you'll actually get let out a different way, so... That guy has a book. What's the book's name? Fire and Darkness. I wasn't expecting the book to be there, but that is a one-handed book. Do I read it or not? It's definitely a one-handed book. I'll have to think about that. What is that shit? Studded Imperial Armour, that's light and sort of valuable. What is that thing? An Orcish Mace, we'll take that. We're pretty light on weight, I think. Alright, let's get on with this. Have we searched you? Gold, Lord Arrow. Empty. Wow. Did you see that? That's an, an empty vessel that I didn't actually search. I've done very well there. I'm proud of myself. Lots of Nord arrows in here. You know what? I remember this too. That's a trap. But it's a trap you can fall in and it doesn't kill you. But in here is a sword and a money bag, and I remember dying trying to pick them up. There is actually a chain on the wall. I don't know what it actually does. I'm not going to pull it. Alright, let's get out of here. So even after four or five years, I still remember this place, sort of. I don't really remember it. I'm being very cautious. Alright, quest markers on this guy here, is it? No, it's not. It's further on. Nothing I want. Nothing I want. Nothing I want. There's actually Draga on the other side of that door. I can see them. I can see you there, sport. A one shot. And another one shot. Cool. Alright, there's our quest marker on this guy. He doesn't look like a very happy Dark Elf. Ivory Claw. Read his book. Take his book. Uh, Frostbite. We'll take that and that. 
and use the claw. Third person. We need to peek a couple of corners here, I guess. There's a chest up there. There's a Draga there standing there half asleep, daydreaming, whatever they're doing. Another Draga. Another Draga. He's dead, that one. He's not going to come to life. And another one there. Let's have a look at the chest. The chest has a trap on it. I can see it. We have a potion. What's the trap? Oh, it's poison arrows. So if we jump on top of the trap, on top of the trap, jump on top of the chest, we'll be able to search it without getting done over by the poison arrows. All right, let's have a look at these guys in here. This would be really easier if, if I put my dagger on, but we will probably not do that. This guy here looks like a one-shot kill. I'm going to have to go invisible. If he's a one-shot, he dies, and this guy doesn't wake up. If he's not a one-shot, the guy behind me is going to wake up. He's a one-shot, no worries. Okay. He looks like a one-shot too. He's not in as much armor. He's a two-shot. And for some reason, this guy didn't wake up. I would have expected you to wake up then. All right, let's put a lot of distance between me and him, and let's just go for it. Unless he's really strong. He's a one-shot. I got it wrong. Well, when I looked at him in his armor, he looked weaker than the other guy. We definitely don't want a Nord bow. Have you got anything? Gold. Boring old gold. But it buys trading on legendary characters. Got to say, I quite like this. Um, that's what we're looking for. I quite like this uh, this bow. Though it doesn't look like the enchantment lasts a long time. We've got a little puzzle here. I don't know how the hell you solve it. That opens the first gate. That opens the second gate. All right. Let's do that one. That one opened the first gate. No, we're back to square one. Ah, oh, we're in. No logic required, just flick levers. So I quite like this uh, Galder Black Bow. It's, what, equal third fastest firing bow in the game, as in... It draws its string the third fastest, or equal third fastest. What have we got a trap going on? And a one shot there. Yeah, so it's the equal third fastest firing bow in the game. So Zephyr, Longbow, stuff like that are the fastest. Then you've got like um, hunting bows, and then this Dwarven Black, not Dwarven Black Bow, uh, called the Black Bow. It's on par with a Forsworn Bow, believe it or not, for the speed it fires. And when I say the speed it fires, so all arrows, all bows knock their arrow in the same amount of time, as in when you see it in third person, he pulls the arrow out of his quiver and puts it on the bow that's knocking it same speed but different bows take longer to draw the string back so all bows are the same at knocking the arrow but their draw speed is different so this is the third fastest or the equal third fastest draw speed as far as bows go i actually like fast firing slightly lower power bows in this sort of environment especially once you take power shot and you have the stagger effect missed him that won't miss him and he's a two shot and we will have woken up the guy in the other chair so let's put a shot in there to see if we can draw him to those shots there's a third one awake somewhere in there come on play the game go to that arrow please no don't come to me oh he's a two shot anyway i'm detected but he's still a two shot because this first sneak attack took enough of his health 
So for example, your Zephyr bow will draw the speed, draw the arrow twice as fast as a Daedric bow. And quick shot, so the perk quick shot that I took in the last episode, I think, it doesn't affect the draw speed of um, any bow. It affects the pulling the arrow out and knocking it onto the bow speed. Alright, let's get on with this. Too much talking about the technical side of Skyrim. We have a couple of Draga come out of their sarcophaguses in there. So let's put a shot in there, see if I can draw him into my line of sight. It is quite fast, this bow, really. There's one. He's a two shot. Where's the next one? There's one on the HUD. I know there's a second one there. Come on, buddy. Poke yourself out, there you are. And another two shot. Job done. And there's someone else alive over here. I could hear the footsteps before. Got a switch there. We have a chain on the wall that actually has a trap up there. More poison darts. Another switch here. I can hear the guy walking around. There's definitely a guy behind the door on the other side here. Alright, what have we got here? Snake. Whale. Eagle. Snake, whale, eagle. I'm guessing this opens that door. Let's move away and see what happens a bit. What's in there? Ah, there's a Draga in there. Alright, let's put a shot on this guy and see how good he is. Let's maybe fire a shot over his head and turn him around first. So he turns around. Hopefully we can get some stagger on this guy. Oh, he's moved. Oh, he's a lot stronger. I'm going to make a tactical retreat while I think about this. He's much stronger. So we're going to have to go with some potions of marksmen here. Uh, we'll favourite them. Oh, they're only a few percent more. We will use the old one first. Where is this guy? I'm half tempted to get my dagger out. We'll let him drop off the HUD completely. Go back about his business and we'll try and turn him round. Then go with the potion of marksman. Can I put him down the back? Yep, he's gone down the back. Let's go potion of marksman and let's go at him see if we can get him before he can get to me. We get stagger. That's just perfect. Stagger and a fast drawing bow and we kill him really easy well there's one of them trap things there it's a grand or a greater greater what have you got something decent seeing you were so strong you've got absolutely zero We'll take that soul gem. Oh, puzzle pieces. Actually, I just read it out on the other side, didn't I? And I can't remember it. Whale, snake, eagle? No, snake, whale, eagle. Snake, whale, eagle. Whale Eagle. Eagle. Okay. Snake. Snake, whale, eagle. Alright. Done. What does that do? 
nothing. This chain. I'm guessing the chain. Yep. All right. Don't fall off there, that's a long way down. And there's spiders in there. There's two, a little one and a big one. Let's hit the little one. The big one turns around, which is what we want to happen. Done. Impressed. That's the second urn that I haven't searched that's been empty. What is that? Steel dagger. Alright, ivory claw time. Oh my god. What's happening here? Oh, two shots, eh? We might be going a potion of marksman here, I think. No, one shot. Another one. One I just popped out to my right. I heard it. You can die too. You're a two shot, eh? Put your battle axe away. That's it, job done. Yeah, the lights have come back on. I just picked up an ancient Nord bow, why not? All right, uh, we need to know the code, don't we? Items, miscellaneous. Ivory Claw. And it is Eagle, Eagle Dragon. Eagle, Eagle, Eagle. Eagle, Eagle Dragon. Beautiful. What am I doing? Nothing ever is behind these doors when you first open them. Ah, uh, I had to do it. What's that? Oh, just an iron sword. This might be the end. Is this the end? Yep, this is the end. Amethyst bonus. So our quest marker is straight in front of us. Do I have invisibility potions hot keyed? Yeah, I've got two ready to go. Okay. Just sussing this area out. Okay. I'm going to go invisible and have a look for a second. 
Okay, they're all coming out of crypts here. I don't know how long my invisibility potion was for, but this is looking like an interesting spot up here. It was a one shot. How many do we have? We are not detected. There's one below me. I can hear him. Oh, they're going to where that guy just got shot. Can we shoot through there? No, I'm not going to risk that. There's a guy right down the back there. I can just see him. These guys have no weapons in their head. This is a really safe spot. That'd be the boss man there. He's reasonably strong. Alright, time to move I think. Alright. I don't want the boss man, I want his minion down the back there first. And I want his other minion that's right there. He, the boss's man, is coming to me. So I'm going to run away just around the corner here for a second. No, they did go back up there where the arrow landed. Perfect. I want to hit you. And I want to hit your other minion. And I heard a couple more crypts open. Oh, we've got this guy. He's done for. And his minions have gone away. We've done. Finished. Maybe I should have just concentrated on the boss man to start with. Alright, we've got another Golda Amulet Fragment. We can read that. And... Take it. And we've got the Golda Black Bay black blade which has a really good 25 um, points of health absorption all right that might be Fendal's new weapon so I'm guessing these little minion fellas don't have much just bone meal nothing just bone meal bone meal's not an absolute bonus for us so Let's get out of here. I can hear the shout. I do know the ice, I think it's ice form shout or blizzard shout or something is in here. Doesn't this guy have a chest at the end of his quest? Amethyst. Empty one, of course. Thirty-four minutes, so I better get my ass into gear and get out of here. Ah, there's a chest. Potion of pickpocketing. in the chest. Orcish boots of abatement. 250 gold. Staff of fury. Yeah, we'll sell all that. Pick up the shout and we are job done. Let's get out of this place. I like the gold of black bow, works well. Where the hell are we? 
Oh, we're here. Alright, we're done. Let's go and pick up Fendal. I think there was one more room to unlock with the claw, wasn't there? It's there. Let's unlock this and see what's in here. Another chest. And we got a lock picket, hey? No trap. And perfect. All right, Mr. Feindal. We're finished. Ring the bone chimes and get out of here. All right, well, I'll hook up with Feindal here. I am going to end this episode here. I'm probably... Ah, uh, yeah, follow me. I am probably going to run over to Rift not run over to Riften. Solitude is not far away, so it's time to go and discover Solitude, I'm thinking. All right, don't know if I'll do that on camera, or next time I pick you up, I'll be up in Solitude having sold off a heap of stuff. All right, cheers, guys. I will put a save in here, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Cheers.